The people of Israel were sad because their prophet Aaron was dying. In the name of Jehovah, I bless you. I bless you all, children of Israel. Aaron died on the summit of Mount Hor in the 40th year after the exodus from Egypt. He was 123 years old. His people, disloyal to Jehovah, had convinced him to worship a golden calf and therefore he was not permitted to enter the promised land. Eleazar, now you'll wear your father Aaron's garments and become the high priest of Israel. Night fell. The following day, the Israelites resumed their journey to the promised land, which, by that time, grew ever closer. After walking for the entire day, the Hebrews arrived close to the city of Heshbon. <gasps> The people of Israel greet the great Lord of Heshbon. I don't care. For what reason did you come to my land? We just need to cross your land along this path. We will not take your water and we will not give you trouble. You are just a flock of hungry nomads. If I let you pass, you'll eat up a whole crop and ravage the field like grasshoppers. But if you don't turn back, I know you'll taste the blades of our swords. Sir, I am sorry to hear what you are saying, but we will not turn back. And what will you do? Do you want this valley to become red with your blood? Now you will see what we are capable of doing. You will see! In the name of God! The sound of trumpets announced the beginning of hostilities. The rival armies were lined up opposite each other, waiting for the battle to start. Forward! Forward! In the name of Jehovah! The battle began. It was violent and bloody. Forward in the name of Joshua, supported by his great faith in God, fought with furious passion. Forward, forward in the name of Jehovah! Although they met many adversities on their trek, the people of Israel resumed their march towards the place that God had set aside for them, and they found themselves once more in danger. Another test. We'll have to fight again. We are ready. We will stop the caravan before the pass. We will enter only with the scouts and remove any obstacle from the pass. Stop!
May the name of Jehovah be blessed. In the name of Jehovah. Hallelujah. 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 And so the people of Israel arrived and settled for some time in the green and pleasant land of Amorai under the reign of Zion. You, what's your name? My name is Reuben. And you? Judah. And you? Levi. And you? Benjamin. Joseph. Ephraim. Malassi. Sibulan. Gad. Dan. Naphtali. Esher. Every time a child announced his or her own name, Moses saw the banners of every tribe of Israel that the children represented parading before him, one by one. The Lord came from Sinai May his benediction fall upon the tribes of Israel. The God of the ancient times is our shelter, and his arms are our defense. Blessed be you, Israel, who was saved by the Lord like you. Which people among the nations? Children of Israel, you've cried about your sins, and I've cried about mine. That's why Jehovah told me you won't cross the River Jordan. Here our journey ends and now we are here, waiting for the promise of the Lord to be fulfilled. But you will remember this day, because what you see before you is the land of Canaan, it's the promised land. Joshua, kneel here before me. Now you will lead the people of Israel to their land. Lead them with strength and courage, because the Lord is walking ahead of you and will never abandon you. And now, people of Israel, praise your Lord Jehovah. Oh. Moses, faithful Moses, listen. Lord, here I am. I'm listening. Did you see how beautiful is the land I gave to my people? I promised it to everyone, but you, my faithful Moses, are not allowed to go there, unfortunately. I know, Lord, I don't deserve to walk in that land, but my people will finally be able to enter it. Now I am ready to renounce life, my Lord. You have been faithful to me, Moses, up to the end. My hand will always be over your head. I am your servant, Lord. After he had spoken with the Lord, Moses closed his eyes and ran through again in his mind all the events he had seen, the Pharaoh's malice, his sweet wife, the night of the death of the firstborn, the angel of the Red Sea, the passageway of the Hebrews, the pursuit and the death of the Pharaoh and the Egyptians. The women singing and dancing for freedom. His rage at the golden calf and the two tablets of the testimony of God he had shattered. My sons, be strong and courageous. You should never get discouraged. The Lord is with you.
My children, I give my life to my God. The time for my rest has finally come. Always be faithful to Jehovah. Moses was buried in the country of Moab, opposite Beth Poah. But nobody has ever found his sepulchre or the urn containing his ashes. The Israelites mourned him for 30 days. There arose no prophet since Moses, with whom Jehovah had spoken face to face. He was 120 years old when he died, yet still full of vigor. The Hebrew people, after another departure, camped at Gisal, a flat land where they celebrated the Passover. Jericho was a fortified city, protected by three boundary walls and three gates. The population, knowing about the battles the Hebrews had won during their march, closed the gates of the city to defend themselves, and nobody could come in or out of the city after the bell. They all feared the Hebrews. How many are the Hebrews? More than a hundred thousand. Huh. Much more than that? Much more? The king of Jericho, to help guard against attack, had decided that every man fit and able to use weapons had to be trained to be ready to defend the city and its inhabitants. In every corner of Jericho, you could see soldiers patrolling the streets. The city was in ferment. The soldiers got their weapons ready. The king put his treasures in a safe and felt protected by the armed men that watched over him. The Hebrews sent two spies to find out whether the city of Jericho had weak spots the Hebrews could exploit and attack. The two spies were covered with a cloak and hood and they moved among the streets, noting everything. What do you want to buy? These are three copper pieces. A two coins, all right. Hmm. What language do you speak? Uh, hmm. Thank you, my friends. These are good coins. You must be strangers. Thank you. Or strangers in the city. They were in the square buying merchandise. If you come with me, I'll show you where I saw them. Hey, have you seen two hooded strangers around here? Mm -mm. The king of Jericho's guards busied themselves looking for the two mysterious strangers. They searched in every street and asked every inhabitant of Jericho whether they had seen two suspicious-looking men hanging about the streets. But it seemed that nobody had seen anything unusual. Eventually, the two elusive spies arrived at Rahab's house and walked past. Hey, handsome strangers. Are you looking for someone? Hmm? No, uh, just a place to spend the night, an inn. Is there really nothing else? No, nothing else. Thank you, ma'am. Hmm? Well, come in, strangers. Come on. During the night, there was a knock at the door. Two strangers have been seen in the market. Did you see them? No, I didn't see anybody. Careful, woman, you might face death. I'm asking, have you seen anyone? I already told you. I didn't see anybody. When I saw you, I thought you'd come for me. Well, if I promised to return alone tomorrow, would you tell me the truth? And if you don't come, 
You know I always return to you. You're right, soldier. Two strangers passed through here, but when they heard the gong, they went away in a hurry. Then we can still catch them. Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Phrase strangers, my house has a window on the city wall. You can go down and get away whenever you want. But who are you? I'd like to know where you come from. We came here because Joshua ordered us to do so. And who on earth is this Joshua? He's wait, the wait, man wait, the wait, God of wait, Israel wait, chose to wait, lead our wait. people. I never heard anything about this God and your people. And why did he send you here to Jericho? Why is he so interested in us? What do you want from us? We don't want anything from you, but his hand will soon strike this city and it will become his. But that's impossible. Nobody can enter Jericho without the king's permission. Nobody. You saw the three walls and the three gates. And did you see how many soldiers the king has? The God of Israel is much stronger than your king. Our God liberated us from the Pharaoh. He parted the waters of the Red Sea and fed us for 40 days in the desert. He brought forth water from a rock. He is all powerful. I don't know if I should believe you. You're not making much sense, but I like you. Most of all, I like you, Pincus. I really like you a lot. But now we have to go. But when you come back, we will you remember will I saved you? Of course, Rahab. Don't worry. The Lord will surely remember you. Go to the mountain. Nobody will see you. Quick, go! When you hear Jehovah's trumpets, tie this red rope to the window and gather your family at your house. We'll recognize the signal and we'll save you. So be it. Thank you. the leader of the Lord's army. What does my Lord command his humble servant? Take off your sandals, because you stand in a place that's sacred to the Lord. Do what the Lord has commanded you. You must enter Jericho. That's the gate to the land that he promised you. He will put his hands over the city and its king on the seventh day, and you'll be able to enter and subdue the city, because it's yours. The Lord said, I put in your hands Jericho, its king and its brave soldiers. You, men of war, will march around the city. You will go round once, and you will do thus for six days, with seven priests before the ark and seven shrill trumpets that will sound. The seventh day you will go around the city seven times, and the priests will play the trumpets. This has been going on for seven days. What does it mean? Let's capture them. Don't let them fool you. The Hebrews only want to frighten us as long as they're going around our walls. Every morning, what's the point of capturing them? Look, sir, at the foot of the hill. Yes, I see them, I see them. There's thousands and well armed. What can they do against our walls? This is the seventh day of the Lord. People of Israel, this is finally the moment that we have been waiting for. Now we launch the war cry and the Lord will give us the city of Jericho. Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. The people shouted and the priests played their trumpets. And when the people heard the sound of the trumpets, they launched themselves with a huge roar, and the walls of Jericho collapsed. of wild men clambered over the fallen walls of Jericho and spread into the city. They ran amok amongst the stricken people. 
burning everything in their path. The Hebrews exterminated everyone they met. They put to the sword women, men, children, elders, oxen, sheep, donkeys, all. You heard the cry of pain of the moribunds. It was a wiping out. There was blood everywhere. None of the inhabitants of Jericho survived. In every street, square and house, you saw dead bodies on the ground. You can come out now. Bless Jehovah the Holy, because he opened for us the door to the land he promised our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Moses. We will still have to fight, we will still have to suffer, and many of us will die. But at the end, each tribe will have their own land, and the days of peace will begin. In the blessed name of Jehovah.